you for purchasing Load Manager TMS system. We know you have options in TMS and we're confident that you made the right choice. Today, we're going to show you how to set up your system in three easy steps. Let's get started. First, set up your company information. Click on settings and choose your company logo. Click open to select. Enter in your company information as needed and click save. Now your logo appears on the top of your screen and will also show on relevant documents. To set up more than one company in Load Manager, look at our description below for a link to multi-company setup video. Next, click on the user tab to set up your user profile and add users. Click add user to create a new user or select your username. Here, fill in your basic information and change your password from your temporary password to one that only. You can also change your login information if desired. Next, we will want to set up our email. Here is an example of what a completed email looks like. I know my email is complete because I've clicked verify SMTP settings and clicked save. I receive a notice telling me that my SMTP settings are valid. This lets me know that my email is now connected. But how do I set up my email? Simply click on set up email for a list of all email host providers and what to do. Or search your email host provider name for a customized article specific to your email host provider. In this instance, we have Gmail, which provides a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create your connection with Load Manager. This step normally takes about five minutes to complete. Need help? Contact one of your Load Manager support team representatives. Include an email signature if desired. This email signature will appear on every email sent from Load Manager. Next, set up your load boards. Click the load board you wish to use and enter in your username and password you use to sign in, or a special integration key that you will receive from that load board. With load boards, you can post directly to that load board from Load Manager. Once complete, click Save. As you can see, we have a notice that our user has been updated successfully. For more information on the user tab and options like roles and permissions, look at our videos in the description below. Next, we want to set up our carrier packets and terms. Click on settings. If using our carrier onboarding, click on your onboarding carrier setup. Otherwise, go to configuration options and select filing cabinet. Drag and drop your carrier agreements and select the document type as carrier. Now your documents will upload to be sent to your carriers as an attachment in your email. Scroll down to the carrier terms section. Enter in your carrier terms or use the carrier terms provided. Click save. You're now ready to enter in your first load. You've completed your setup process. If you have questions, we here at Load Manager are dedicated to you. Send us a support ticket, chat with us or call us, or send us an email. We're there to help get you started and answer any questions you may have.